Hey guys, Naders here, and I was bound to make this video at some point. This character in today's video has been my most wanted character for years. Years, plural. Which seems crazy to say because, to put it into perspective, Multiverses was first announced back in 2021. I've been wanting this character ever since that, and up until more recently, he has been my most wanted character. That changed then when I found out about Mumford, which I covered in this video here. So, who is that character that I am talking about? Well, this should come to no surprise to those who have watched my videos previously, but that character is Elf. Back in 2022, I started a Twitter campaign for Elf, and have received a decent following there, but my expectations for the account were completely blown away when the official Elf account on Twitter followed me. I have mentioned this information from a previous video, but I might as well cover it once more for any new viewers. On September 13, 2022, the official Elf account followed me back on Twitter. Then he had three Multiverses related posts following this. On November 10th, he tweeted Yo tagging Tony, WB Games, Player First Games, and Multiverses themselves. He even joked with a fan in the comments that for $40 you could play the Hawaiian Shirt Elf. Then, five days later, he retweeted some fan banners saying that if Samwise from The Lord of the Rings gets into multiverses before him, he is going to rage quit. So that does give me hope that there is a chance that Elf could make it into multiverses. But why Elf? Well, my parents introduced me to him when I was young, and I sort of fell in love with him. I don't really know how to express it, but there was something fun and refreshing about this little guy, and I really loved him. So, after doing a lot of research and finding that he has been associated with Warner, he became my most wanted character. Warner distributed the original Elf TV show. If you go to the Wikipedia page titled Television Series by Warner Bros. Television Studios, Elf will be on it. In addition to this, the Warner Bros. Wiki says that the rights of Elf Tales are owned by Warner. I'm not really sure how credible that is due to it just being a random wiki, but I'd love to think that that's true. I even found this segment from the 80s that proves Warner's role in Elf. Elf is an alien production and is distributed by Warner Brothers Domestic Television Distribution. So Elf is Warner related, and the official Twitter account has interacted with the community. This all seems to be really good for Elf's inclusion in the game, but if he were to get in, how would he play? Well, that is the question I aim to answer in this video. Normally, I try to come up with a gimmick for each character, but for Elf, I actually struggled. I had some ideas, but the biggest one was already showcased in one of his moves. So, for Elf, I decided that he was good enough to not have a gimmick. That being said, I'm sure that if the devs wanted to, they could probably definitely pull off a gimmick for Elf. The biggest thing that I wanted to accomplish with Elf was to show off all of the media that he has been in. Elf has its own original series, but he also has Elf the Animated Series, Elf Tales, Elf's Hit Talk Show, and also appeared in Robot Chicken and Cartoon All-Stars to the Rescue. He also has his own video game, comics, and trading cards. I wanted to incorporate all of these things into his moveset somehow, and I'm pretty happy with how I did it. So, firstly, we will start off with Elf's dash attack, which originally wasn't included in my moveset, but that was because characters didn't have a dash attacks at that time. So, I decided to use a series that Elf made a cameo in, that series being The Simpsons of all things. The scene where Elf pogs are shown off is what I am talking about. I originally thought that these could be worked in as a taunt, and I do still think it could be a taunt possibility, but for his dash attack, I envisioned the following. Elf would run forward with an armful of Elf pogs, but he then trips and falls. All of the Elf pogs go flying forward. The pogs would have a hitbox and could damage opponents if the two collide. I think this would be a really fun dash attack and just showcase even more of what Elf has appeared in over the years. With his dash attack out of the way, we can now get into his regular attacks. His neutral attack comes from Elf Tales. There is a scene in Elf Tales where Elf looks into a mirror, aims, and fires a bow. I imagine that this move would work similar to Gizmo's mechanically, but obviously it would look much different. I think the idea of it shooting while aiming through a mirror is really fun, and it would fit Elf well in multiverses. For Elf's forward ground, he would kick forward. This comes from a scene in Robot Chicken where Elf kicks a cat forward. I think he could just kick forward. It's simple, sure, but who said it has to be anything more than that? 
For elves up ground, he would swing a salami stick upward above his head. This comes from the elf video games. In it, a salami stick is his weapon of choice. Why? I have no idea, but I think it would work good as a move in multiverses. I think it would be a fun reference to those video games and would work well as a fast, low damage move that could combo into other moves. For elf's down ground, he would call Woody the Pit Termite. Woody comes from Elf the Animated Series and likes to eat a lot. I think Elf could hold Woody in his arms, and Woody could bite forward damaging opponents. It might have a bit of end lag so Woody can leave Elf, but I think it would be a really neat move. And that is it for Elf's ground attacks, but now we can get into his aerial ones. His neutral air is simple, as it is the same as his ground. He would pull out a mirror and shoot an arrow. I think I forgot to mention it earlier, but he also shoots it with his mouth, which makes it even more funny to me. For Elf's forward air, he would use his puppet. This comes from the original Elf TV show. The puppet would then chomp down forward. I can picture this being a cartoony fun move, and it sounds neat to me. The puppet episode was one of my favorites, and I'd love for it to be shown in his character somehow. For Elf's up air, he would slap a fish upward. This move comes from Elf's trading card. All of his trading cards are a baseball team, and in Elf's he is holding a fish, so I'd assume he uses that instead of a bat. I envision this being similar to Bugs' bat move, but the devs could have it work differently if they want to. Elf's down air comes from cartoon all-stars to the rescue, which, for the record, is a mouthful to say. The movie is an anti-drug movie of all things, and features popular animated characters from that time. It allows Elf to be seen alongside Bugs Bunny, but also allows for this scene where he swings a hammer downward. It's actually sort of a blink and you'll miss it scene, so I'll slow it down a bit so you can catch it. I think Elf could swing his hammer down, and it could spike opponents that it hits. That is it for his attacks, so now we can get into his specials. His specials are what make him a lot of fun in my opinion. His neutral special was what I was talking about earlier with his gimmick. Elf has always been very witty and tends to make fun of other people in the show. He also does this in his talk show. So I wanted to make a move that referenced this. For his neutral special, he would pull out a microphone and roast the closest opponent. That roast can vary in damage, but would offend the other player and damage them. It could deal a lot of damage, or very little, depending on the roast. I thought maybe this could be worked into a gimmick where the goal is to offend the opponent as much as possible, but I thought it worked better to keep it as a move. For Elf's forward special, he would start running after a cat. This comes from nearly everything that Elf is in, even in Robot Chicken. It's always been a gag that Elf likes to eat cats, so I think he could start chasing one trying to catch it. If the cat hits an opponent, it could do one of two things. It could A, launch the opponent forward, or B, launch the opponent back into Elf for even more damage dealt. It all depends on where the opponent gets hit by the cat. If the opponent hits the front of the cat, they might get launched forward. But if they hit the back, they would be launched towards Elf. I think this makes Elf feel very in character and would be a fun move for multiverses. For Elf's up special, he would start playing a saxophone. It would send music note projectiles upward that could deal damage to opponents. This is comparable to Gizmo's keyboard move, but instead of the music notes going down, it would go up. And of course, it's a saxophone, not a keyboard. For Elf's down ground, he would do his Melmachian mating call. This probably sounds really weird to those who don't know what I'm talking about, so I'll take this chance to quickly play the clip. Hey Willie, come here. Listen to this. Let me know when this gets irritating, okay? And now, now! It's irritating almost at once. <laughs> I think that Elf could start making that annoying noise, and it could send a visible shockwave forward that could damage a player's in a certain radius, because their ears obviously would be in pain from it. Or it could even knock them out. I think this is part of the gag in the clip. I'll play that part here. What was that? Melmachian mating call. Like it? It's charming. Does it have any effect? Oh, uh, knocks them unconscious. Elf says it knocks them unconscious, so maybe they could take this literally and have the opponent get knocked down. And that brings an end to his grounded specials. But there is only one different aerial special, that being his up aerial special. For it, he would put on his anti-gravity belt and fly upward. This comes from the Elf comics, which I wanted to try to reference somehow. I think he could put the anti-gravity belt on and start to float upward quickly. He would point his finger up like in this image, and could start damaging players. 
Maybe after a couple seconds it could stop working or malfunction or something, sending Elf back downward. And that is it for Elf's moveset. I think he would fit right into multiverses and would be such an amazing addition to the roster. As for costumes, he has so much potential. Which does make sense due to him having a show that lasted for four seasons plus spin-offs. Here are just a couple that I picked out that I thought could be fun ideas. I think his default outfit should just be him, well, naked I guess, without any clothes on at all. But he could also have his Hawaiian outfit, a detective outfit, a clown outfit, an asparagus outfit, a dress outfit, a tux, a nurse outfit, his robot chicken wrapper outfit, and whatever you want to call this last one. Obviously this is barely anything compared to the nearly limitless potential that he has for costumes, but I thought they were some fun ideas. He also has so many opportunities for winning and losing animations. I think that if Elf loses, he should crack a joke on why his teammate was not the right fit for him. I think that that could work great and go along with Elf's character. As for his winning animation, I imagine that it could be something to do with food. Elf is almost constantly hungry, and so after a round of fighting, I'd imagine that he'd want a bite to eat. I think that Elf would be an amazing addition to the Multiverses roster, and there have been a decent amount of people requesting him. I'd like to think that he might have a chance of getting in. It would be an absolute dream come true if he did. I think he would have amazing character interactions with other characters, and it would be so fun to see. With that, I think we will wrap up the video there. I hope this video has convinced you to fight for Elf's inclusion in Multiverses, as I myself think it would be awesome. If you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching this far. I truly do appreciate it. Next week I plan on making another video set up similarly to this one, so if you enjoyed the video, stay tuned! Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next week.